Simons Island once again ready for its close up. Glenn County is in talks to host another film shoot this summer and it could bring some star power. Yeah, Sony is remaking a 1933 comedy called The Man from Toronto. The updated version would star Kevin Hart and Jason Statham. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding joins us now live this morning. Ashley, the county attorney's office is actually working on a contract as we speak with a production company. It is Jen and Bruce. Good morning to you both. And a lot of details are still being worked out. So a lot is up in the air at this point, but the tentative shooting schedule is set for late April. It's only expected to last roughly a day or so. Now we talked to one local shopkeeper who says he is excited about this, but does have some questions. Stephen King's Dr. Sleep was a remake to the 1980 classic The Shining. Disney's Dumbo was released in 2019. In the last few years, Hollywood has given Southeast Georgia reason to say lights, camera, action. It's on track to happen again in the next couple months. We heard from Hollywood. They're going to make a film on St. Simon's, The Man from Toronto. It's a remake of a 1933 movie. As part of the filming, Bill Strother's family hardware store will be getting a little paint job and something of a Hollywood makeover. What did they say about the front sign? They said they're going to Photoshop it out. So my building, now we're a lumber yard, build of materials, but we're going to get ready to be a clothing store. So he said they're going to have mannequins in the window, things like that. Strother said it's not just his business. He says several others along Mallory Street will be used for filming too, meaning some shops will close up. County leaders tell me this would involve shutting down some of the roads here in the Pier Village area. And yes, that would include the main access point to the pier itself. Thankfully, it's only supposed to be about a day or so. Matthew Kent is Glynn County spokesperson and says arrangements are being made with the production company. That includes knowing what streets will need to close. They would have to pay for those services because um, we don't want taxpayers paying for services that a uh, film company is using. Strother says his only concern is how long setup could take, coupled with the tentative April filming schedule. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Something new. They're coming in during spring break, which is a lot of these people's busiest time and is really going to impact their businesses. And Strother told me his hope is for that shooting schedule schedule to be roughly a week after where it is currently set. And again, that tentative schedule uh, shooting date is April, uh, late April rather. And there will be a meeting later on this week to iron out some more of those details. Reporting live, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.